Hello there, geographers, and welcome back to another Mr. Sin video. Today, we're going to continue our conversation we had in our last video, which looked at types of diffusion. If you haven't watched that video yet, make sure you check it out, because you're not going to be able to understand all the concepts in this video if you haven't watched that one yet. Today, though, we're talking about Unit 3, Topic 5. We're looking at historical causes of diffusion. Now, we know that diffusion happens in a bunch of different ways, and we know that diffusion changes our very fabric of society. It introduces us to new cultures, languages, ideas, goods and services, Services, religions, and much more. Today we're going to be looking at how history, historical events, have actually caused diffusion and how that's impacted our society. We could look at colonialism and imperialism to see how it diffused cultures, goods and services, religion and language around the world. For example, as the British Empire grew, they gained more colonies and those colonies they brought English to. English started to diffuse across the globe because of that British Empire and their influence on almost every single continent. Today, many of the former colonies still speak English today. Today, English is one of the most widely spoken languages across the world. And part of it's because of the British and their colonialism as they expanded and helped diffuse English as a language. This has led English to become a lingua franca. A lingua franca is a language that's commonly spoken and understood by members of society. Today, English is used for business, for social media, movies, music, around the world. We could also look at major historical migrations and how that impacted the diffusion of different people and cultures around the world world. For example, we could talk about missionaries that actually relocated to different parts of the world and brought with them new cultures and religions. The goal here was to go to different parts of the world to be able to spread the word of God. This led to the diffusion of religion. Or we could look at the Atlantic slave trade, which led to the forced migration of over 12 million slaves. This not only changed the cultural landscape of different countries and societies, but also changed the demographic breakdown for countries. And it led to the diffusion of different religions, cultures, languages, and people. And it also created a diaspora. Diaspora is referencing the dispersion of people from their original homeland. We can also look at other forms of migration throughout history and that impact in diffusing both culture, religion, and people throughout a geographic area. Whether it be interregional, intra-regional, transnational, step migration, transhumans migration, any other form of migration that we talked about in Unit 2. All of these lead to new ideas to come into contact with other places. And all this migration could lead to a cultural to occur. As a culture comes into a new society, they might take on some of the traits from that society that they just entered. Or it could also lead to assimilation to occur, where a culture comes into a society and forgets their old ways and just completely adapts and takes on the new culture. We'll talk about those more in depth though when we look at 3.8, when we talk about some of the effects of diffusion. Throughout history, we could also see the impact of war on society and how that leads to diffusion to occur. For example, during World War II and after World War II, many Jews Jews had to emigrate from Europe in order to find safety. It was a form of forced migration and they had to relocate for their own protection. Or we could look at during the Cold War, where diffusion actually was happening with Western and Eastern ideals, communism and capitalism, as countries around the world had to pick sides. Or we could even talk about just the creation of military bases and how that leads to diffusion of certain languages and cultures. For example, the United States has military bases in the Caribbean, the Americas, Europe, the Korean Peninsula, just to name a few. All of this has led to American culture being introduced into local communities. As the communities surrounding those bases now are going to hear people speaking English more often, and they're also going to cater to some of the soldiers that'll be located there. So we'll start to see the diffusion of American ideals. We could also look at the impact that trade has had throughout history on the diffusion of different goods, of food, of different ideas, and in general cultures, as we start to see different people interact. And this led to some transformations to happen within society. For example, the Colombian exchange revolutionized the European diet as new crops were brought from the new world over into the old world. This allowed for the potato to be introduced into the European diet, which became a very stable crop. It actually was one of the factors that led to a population boom in Europe. Or we could also see how diseases were diffused into the new world and unfortunately many of the native population died because they hadn't been exposed to that yet. Or we could look at the Silk Road and how that changed Asia, Eastern Europe, the Middle East, and Northern Africa as now we saw these areas connected through trade routes and that led to the furthering diffusion of ideas and goods and services. All of this led to more economic development and the development of society in general. All of these different interactions lead to creolization. Now normally this is 
is about language, but we can also see it with culture as well. This is the process of when we have two different cultural traits or two different linguistic traits, and they come together to actually create something new. Now, whenever we see people interact and migrate, whether it's forced migration or voluntary migration, you're going to see diffusion occur. All of this will lead to society to be reshaped as it now becomes exposed to new religions, cultures, ideas, different goods and services, even different political and economic systems. This will impact society for years to come. And in our next video, we're going to look at contemporary causes of diffusion. And in order to make sure you don't miss that video, make sure you have subscribed to the channel. That way you're not only supporting the channel, but you're also helping yourself out because you'll get notified when new videos get posted. And don't forget to answer the quiz questions that have been up on the screen. It's important for you to practice the stuff we've learned. This way you can really see if you're getting it. You can check your answers out in the comments section below. And if you are still struggling with AP Human Geography and need a little bit more help, well, check out my Ultimate Review Packet. It's a great resource. It'll help you with your class on all the different units, and you can find it in the description of this video. All right, that's all the time I have for today, geographers. Thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. Until next time, I'm Mr. Sin, and I'll see you online.